Hello friends, welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis. LCU Tejas has been a controversy child and there were a lot of questions raised related to its capability. However, many countries including USA which is having world's most powerful and capable fighters like F-22 Raptor and F-35 are now showing their interest in LCU Tejas. Today, we will be discussing about the international demands and the detailed capability of LCA Tejas MK1 variant. But before we go ahead, a gentle request to all our viewers to subscribe our channel as 95% of our viewers are non-subscriber. This will not only help you to keep updated with defense news globally, but also motivate us to keep bringing the amazing facts, news and videos to you all. Now let's analyze the LCA Tejas MK1 variant. The light combat aircraft LCA Tejas is 4.5th generation single-seater multi-role fighter aircraft designed by Aeronautical Development Agency ADA in collaboration with Aircraft Research and Design Center ARDC of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL. The Air Force requirement for Tejas was to develop an all-weather supersonic LCA which could replace the aging fleets of MiG-21. Its main objective is to fight for air supremacy and to offer short range support. LCA Tejas has a very unique design with tailless compound delta wing and is designed with a relaxed static stability for enhanced maneuverability. This design also helps to keep it small, lightweight with reduced radar cross section. It has a radar cross section of just 0.5 meters square, which is lowest in the fourth generation fighter class. Tejas, being a single engine, is less vulnerable to IRST and heat seeking sensors, making it less visible during close range dogfight and more survivable against heat seeking missiles. Talking about its electronic warfare, it includes advanced and latest electronics and avionics such as Radar Warning Receiver RWR, Missile Approach Warning MAW and a Laser Warning Receiver LWR system, Infrared and Ultraviolet Missile Warning Sensors, Self Protection Jammer, Chaff, Chaff and Flare Dispenser, an Electronic Countermeasures Suite and a Toad Radar Decoy TRT. It is equipped with Israeli's uh, ELTA ELM 2032 multi mode fire control radar, and the future plan is to upgrade with indigenously developed AESA radar. Uttam Tejas is powered by a single general electric GE404 engine, which can generate a dry thrust of 53.9 kN and a thrust of 90 kN with after burner. The plane weighs around 6500 kg. Uh, and a total takeoff weight is 13,000 kgs. Tejas has a maximum speed of Mach 1.6 and has a combat range of 500 km with internal fuel tanks and a ferry range of 3,200 km with two external drop tanks. It has service ceilings of 6.5 km. Talking about its armament, Tejas includes a 23 mm twin barrel GSH-23 cannon and 8 hard points. It can carry laser guided bombs and a wide range of air to air and air to surface missiles and anti-ship missiles. To summarize, Tejas is indigenously developed, lighter, faster, stealthier and with a powerful engine. Recently Tejas has also demonstrated the capability to take off and arrested landing from an aircraft carrier making it fit to be used by Navy. Its reliability and maintenance cost is also significantly less compared to Russian fighter jets. US Navy is now looking to replace its Boeing T-45 Bosch Hawk trainer. In response to the RFI issued by US Navy, India has responded and offered support LCA lead in fighter trainer lift variant of HL Tejas. It is supersonic omni role twin seater trainer aircraft. The lift variant of LCA Tejas will be based on the MK1 variant. It is fulfilling all the requirements by US Navy. 
This would be the first time India has offered the indigenously developed fighter to a developed nation. Earlier, India has also offered Tejas to Malaysia and exhibited it at Bahrain Air Show. Sri Lanka and Egypt had also shown interest in Tejas in the year 2018. So this was our up to today's update. Please let us know what is your opinion about LCA Tejas. If you have any questions related to Tejas, please mention in the comment section. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.